In this video, we are going to look at the problems relating to exercise 4.2 of the linear equations in two variables. So let's look at question number one. Which one, which one of the following options is true and why? Now, there is only one correct answer because this is also something which is coming out of the question. So you have a line or a linear equation in two variable which is given to you as y is equal to 3x plus 5. Now how do you come to know that this is a linear equation in two variables? There are two variables here which is x and y and the highest degree of both these variables is 1. Therefore this equation is a linear equation in two variables. The choices you have been given is that this particular equation has a unique solution. Unique means only one solution. It has two solutions, that is more than one. Infinite, midly, many solutions, which means there can be as many solutions as you can think of insofar as this equation is concerned. Now, when I talk about this particular equation, as I told you, this is a linear equation in two variables. And the principle is that for a linear equation in two variables, there are infinitely many solutions. And why is that the case? There are two variables here. Every time you change the value of one of the variable, the result that you will get will be a unique one. So let's say, for example, I take x is equal to 1. So the value of y will be equal to 3 into 1 plus 5 or 8. In other words, the solution of this equation becomes x, y is equal to 1, 8. Similarly, if the value of x is equal to 2, then the value of y will be equal to 3 times 2 plus 5. 3 times 2 gives you 6 plus 5 gives you 11. So the value of x, y is equal to 2 and 11. In a similar fashion, you can do as many number of solutions for this equation as possible and therefore the correct option is option C. Moving on to the next question, we will now see write four solutions for each of the following equations. You have been given a linear equation in two variables and you have to write four solutions for each one of these equations. Now the way to do this is quite simple. You pick up a value of x and find out the value of y for that particular value of x and those value of x and y will together form a solution of this equation. So let me put it 2x plus y is equal to 7. Now, to make life easy, you can choose any value for x and any value of y. But whatever value you choose, you will have to do the calculation. Now, what I mean by here is, suppose I choose the value of x as 0. So, if I put the value of x as 0 in this equation, I will get 2 into 0 plus y is equal to 7. Or in other words, y is equal to 7. Therefore, one of the solutions for this equation, which is written in the form of xy, will be equal to 0, 7. Like I told you, I can choose any value of x over here. I can choose, let's say, 100 also. So 2 into 100 plus 7 is plus y is equal to 7. So y is equal to 7. 2 into 100 is 200. When I take 200 to the other side of the equation, it becomes negative. 7 minus 200 or minus 193. So in other words, when x is equal to 100, y is equal to minus 193. Therefore, one of the other solutions here is x, y is equal to 100 minus 193. Now why I said that you can choose any value here, but you should try and choose value which can be easy to solve. When I choose x as 0, I don't need to do too much of a work here. There's no multiplication 
multiplication is there but it's quite simple so in all our cases what we try and do is we try to choose the value of x and y in such a manner that the computation becomes easier let me do the second form of calculations so one of the solutions is this one other solution is this so generally whenever you have to write more than one solution we tend to choose the value of either x or y as 0 and that makes life much more easier. Let's look at the third solution. So let's say when we talk about x and y, let's say the value of y is 0. Putting the value of 0 of y here, I get 2 into x plus 0 is equal to 7. Or in other words, x is equal to 7 upon 2. So 7 upon 2 is another solution, the third solution for this equation. Let's talk about the fourth one. What do we use here? Let's say we use x is equal to 1. So let's say the solution is xy. x is 1. So we get 2 into 1 plus y is equal to 7 or y is equal to 7. 2 into 1 is equal to how much? 2. When I take 2 to the other side of the equation it becomes negative y is equal to 5. In other words, 5 is the value of y when x is equal to 1. Therefore, 1 and 5 also become solution for this particular equation. So in all, what I have got now is, I have got 4 solutions for the value of x. 1, 2, 3, all these four are actually the solution of the equation 2x plus y is equal to 7. Let's move on to the next question. And so in this particular case, again, you have to write four solutions for this equation. So let's say the equation is pi x plus y is equal to 9. Let me take the value of x as 0. If x is equal to 0, this becomes 0. So 0 plus y is equal to 9. In other words, the value of y is equal to 9. So the solution becomes x is equal to 0, y is equal to 9. In the second part, let's take y is equal to 0. So then the equation becomes pi x plus y which is 0 is equal to 9. In other words, pi x is equal to 9 or x is equal to 9 upon pi. So when y is equal to 0, x is equal to 9 upon pi. So another solution is 9 upon pi here and 0 here. Let's take x as equal to 1. So pi into 1 will be pi plus y is equal to 9. In other words, y is equal to 9 minus pi. Right? Now if I take y is equal to 1, I get pi x plus 1 is equal to 9. Pi x is equal to how much? 9. 1 goes to the other side, it becomes negative. 8 or x is equal to 8 divided by pi. So the answer here becomes 8 upon pi is the value of x and the value of y is 1. So these four are basically your solutions for this particular equation. Let's move on to the next question. Here the equation which has been given to you is x is equal to 4y. So if x is equal to 4y, I can write this as x minus 4y is equal to 0 because that is the standard form of a linear equation. Correct? So let's take at the value of x is equal to 0. Then what was the, what is the value of y? x is equal to 0 minus 4y is equal to 0. Or in other words, y is equal to 0 upon minus 4 which is 0. So the solution becomes x is equal to 0, y is equal to 0. Let's say y is equal to 0 then what happens? 
the value of x will be x minus 4 times y 4 times 0 is equal to 0 is equal to 0 in other words again x is equal to 0 but this is the same thing if I write this as 0 0 it's the same thing it's not a different solution so we will disregard this let's say the value of x is equal to 1 then the equation becomes 1 minus 4 y is equal to 0 or in other words minus 4 y is equal to minus 1 I take 1 to the other side so let's say let's change the sign of the both them y is equal to 1 by 4 so 1 and 1 by 4 becomes a solution of this equation this is not an equation so I'm just striking it off how about the third one you want to try it on your own maybe what you can do is you can just take a pause here and try it for the value of y is equal to 1 once you are finished, you can just come back to this particular question and see whether the solution I have done is in line with what you have achieved. If y is equal to 1, then x minus 4y, 4 into 1 will be 4 is equal to 0. Or in other words, x is equal to 4. So the solution will become x is equal to 4, y is equal to 1. Let's say the value of x is equal to 2. In that case, 2 minus 4y is equal to 0 or minus 4y is equal to minus 2 changing the signs of the equation y is equal to 2 upon 4 or 1 by 2 so when the value of x is 2 y is equal to 1 by 2 these four become the solution of this particular equation right let's move on to the next question check which of the following are solutions of the equation x minus 2y is equal to 4 and which are not? 0, 2. If 0, 2 is a solution of an equation of a linear equation in two variable, then the condition is that for this value of x where x is equal to 0, y is equal to 2, y, this is the value of x, this is the value of y, the left hand side of the equation should balance with the right hand side of the equation. Now in this particular case if I put x as 0 minus 2 into y is equal to 2 what do I get? I get minus 4 as the left hand side but the right hand side is equal to 4. Since the left hand side is not equal to the right hand side we say that this particular number is not a solution of the equation x minus 2y is equal to 4. The second one is 2, 0. So x minus 2y is equal to 4. If 2, 0 is a solution then for the value of x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 0 this equation should balance out so I put the value of x as 2 minus 2 times the value of y as 0. So 2 minus 0 is equal to 2 but 2 is not equal to 4 which is the right hand side. What that means is that this is not a solution of this linear equation. 4, 0. So again you have two numbers 4 and 0. x minus 2y is equal to 4. If I put the value of x as 4 minus 2y, y is equal to how much? 0. I get 4 minus 0 or 4 on the left hand side which is equal to the right hand side. Since the left hand side is equal to the right hand side, we can say that 4, 0 is a solution of the linear equation x minus 2y is equal to 4. Looking at the fourth question, x minus 2y is equal to 4. The value of x here is root 2 minus four, value of y is 4 root 2. So 2 times 4 root 2. If I take root 2 as common here, I get 1 minus 8. Why 8? 2 times 4 is equal to 8. Or in other words, 7 root 2. So on the left hand side I have 7 root 2, on the right hand side I have 4. Since this is not equal to this, we can say that this is not a solution of the linear equation x minus 2y is equal to 4. 
let's say we need to find out whether the equation is something which is a solution of x minus 2 y is equal to 4 x is equal to 1 y is equal to 1 so minus 2 into 1 so 1 minus 2 is equal to minus 1 but minus 1 is not equal to 4 and therefore we can say that 1 1 is not a solution of the linear equation x minus 2 y is equal to 4. Now this is a slightly different question. What this says is basically find the value of k if x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 1 is a solution of the linear equation 2x plus 3y is equal to k. Now if x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 1 is a solution of this equation then the value of the left hand side by putting in the value of x and y here should be equal to the value of the right hand side. So when I impose the value of x and y here 2 into x which is 2 plus 3 into y which is 1 2 times 2 is 4 3 times 3 1 is 3 7 so the value of the left hand side should be equal to the value of the right hand side in other words the value of k will be 7. So thank you for being with us on this particular exercise of the NCRT solutions for class 9 maths. We are from Arinja Academy and you can subscribe to our you can subscribe to our YouTube channel of the Arinja Academy by going to the YouTube. You can subscribe to our channel on YouTube and uh, you can also go to our website to find out a lot of solutions, a lot of concepts, a lot of notes actually. If you want to download all the notes of class 9th for NCRT solution, they are available on our website. You can just go to arinjaacademy.com and download these solutions.